Hi kids, I'm back. Did you miss me? I know it's been like a billion years since I've been on here. I'm so sorry. Um, if you've been following me on Instagram, you know that I'm still alive and well. And if you're not following me on Instagram, then I'm not really sure what the deal is, but you just need to go over there. It's Redhead Gets It Done on Instagram. It takes you like two seconds to just like like and follow and then, you know, You'll never regret it, I promise. <laughs> but in the meantime, um, I actually thought I would come back with another yoga video. And the reason why I've chosen yoga as my content for today is for a couple of reasons. One, I have not done yoga in a really long time and I can feel it. And it's one of those things where like you don't do it forever and then you finally do it and it feels great and you think to yourself like, why have I not been doing this this whole time? I don't know. So I'm gonna do that. And another reason is because my highest watched video on this channel is actually a redhead does yoga video. And I'm not sure if it's because of my booty and the leggings or because y'all actually wanna see me do yoga. <laughs> but I'll take what I can get. And I think this video is actually going to be about my shoulders. So I'm gonna to try to do like a yoga for shoulders video. Um, a lot of people spend a lot of time doing stuff like this. They don't realize it, whether it's typing on your computer. Um, for me, it is shopping. Um, which sounds silly, but for those of you that don't know, my second job is kind of like a personal shopper job, and I tend to try to get everything in as, you know, few trips to the car as possible, so I load everything onto my shoulders, and I really overdid it the other day, and um, it's like even just holding the camera, like... Dally. So my, my traps uh, all right here are just super tight and super sore. So I'm hoping that some yoga for shoulders is going to help me feel better. Because that's what that's for. Um, so if you guys are really interested in this video and more of me doing yoga videos, please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, and then, you know, comment on like what kind of yoga videos you want to see me do. I do need to put a really big asterisk exclaimer right here that I am not trained. I am not a trained yoga instructor. I have not taken any kind of classes. I don't have any kind of certifications. I am just a redhead that likes to do yoga and wants to show y'all the type of yoga that I like to do. So please do not follow anything that I do in here and then injure yourself and come back and be like, redhead said to do this. No, I am going to link where I get my videos that I follow from in the description below. And I'll just take this opportunity to shout out Yoga with Adrian and Bad Yogi, Erin Motz. Uh, congratulations, she just had a baby. Um, and then I do find just kind of like some yoga, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, like routines on Instagram, just like pictures of certain poses that I'll practice and stuff. So I will link those things and you can also check out my Instagram uh, for here and there. My Instagram is mostly Disney stuff or Central Florida adventures. Um, but I definitely do put yoga and other self-care things on there as well. So again, Redhead gets it done. Like and subscribe and click all the buttons because I know you want to and I would love to see you guys more often as I hope that you want to see me more often. I'm sorry that I was gone for so long. Uh, so I guess let's just get started. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how Redhead does yoga uh, for her shoulders. And that's why we're going to work on the body today with the breath. When you're ready, take a moment to close your eyes and just tune in to how you're feeling. And we'll do so by noticing the breath. And as you're ready, just taking a couple of nice, refreshing inhales and exhales just on your own. Feel it out. Great, and just take a moment to kind of clear the slate. Maybe this image of kind of clearing your desk so that you can really just tend to yourself in this moment. We're gonna get a great stretch, a great release in the neck and the shoulders, but you can also take this time to just do a little energetic hygiene, right? Because it's all connected. <clears throat> Great, then open your eyes and after you've taken a couple amazing, beautiful, refreshing, deep breaths in and out, so don't skip on that, we'll bring the hands to the heart. I feel like I need to acknowledge that my voice is super low today. <laughs> Allergies. 
Press the palms together, active arms here. When you're ready, elbows go out left to right. Now imagine a string pulling you up from the crown of the head. So literally use your creative mind, your imagination to see the spine, the vertebra lifting, lengthening, keep breathing, pressing the palms together, elbows left to right. You're wanting to create a little heat, a little prana here. Sit up nice and tall, lift the chest again. Imagine that string pulling out from the crown of the head even more and then release everything. Awesome. Hands come to the knees here. So if you're on a chair, you'll go arms out long. If you're on the floor, see if you can wrap the arms around so this will be different for everyone so that you can create a little bit of leverage here as well. So arms nice and straight. And then when you feel like you've found that, inhale, wrap the shoulder blades around your heart space and lift your chest up. See if you can keep the image of that string just lifting and lengthening up through the crown of the head. And then from here, inhale in. Keep the heart lifted, just exhale, chin to chest, nice and slow. And then inhale, carve a line with the nose, look up. And exhale, keep the heart lifted, chest lifted, chin to chest. So there's a little bit of connection with the hands and the legs here. So you have that leverage as you inhale, look up. And as you exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, look up. And exhale, bow the head. Keep it going a couple more times. See if you can keep the shoulder blades really firm on the back, the heart lifted. And if you're experiencing any fussiness at all in the lower back, draw the navel in, hug the lower ribs in a little bit, support. Cool, one more time, inhale to look up. And this time, exhale, chin to chest. And then continue the journey. Let the shoulder blades release. And we're going to bring the navel towards the back of the spine and round through the spine here. Now, a lot of us in the community, we've done this shape before, right? Think cat pose. But see if you can really kind of sink in, find more depth here today by wrapping, excuse me, releasing the shoulder blades to wrap forward. And then hug the lower ribs in, create more stretch by hugging the front body to the back body. Then notice if you're clenching in the jaw or in your forehead or anything like that. And soften. Breathe deep. Close your eyes and feel it out. See if you can imagine the muscles of the back and the shoulders stretching, lengthening. Neck. Gaining more length, more space with every inhale. And then use your exhale to soften, release any tension, any congestion, any stress that's been building up. This manifests in the body. This manifests through tight muscles, which cause us discomfort. So you've got to bring the breath. Bring nice, buoyant breath. Great, then ground your tail down to the earth and start nice and slow, articulating up through the spine. So we start to tilt the pelvis back and we roll up through the spine nice and slow and the crown of the head is the last thing to lift up. And then just see if you can imagine the natural curve of your spine, which is different for everyone, right? And then when you're ready, open the palms, elbow creases up towards the sky. Squeeze the shoulders up to the ears and then wrap them back. And so the placement of your hands is going to move back, 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 wrap them back, and then bring the hands to the tops of the thighs here. And then again, firm the shoulder blades down the back body and inhale, lift from the crown, lift your chest. So you're, you're engaging. In fact, go ahead and lift your hands a little bit. Gentle pulses here, back with the elbows. You're engaging all the muscles around the shoulders. You should be able to even feel it a little bit in the muscles of the arms. So baby pulses here. Again, if you're feeling any fussiness in the lower back body, find support from within. Draw the navel in. Connect to your core muscles. 
Great, we're here for five. Breathe deep. Four, three, two. Reach the fingertips all the way up on the one. Here we go. Spread the fingertips, lots of energy. Reach for the sky. Then bring the palms together and really activate them. See if you can press, press, press. Notice if the shoulder blades have kind of released forward. See if you can, again, bring them together and firm them down the back body. Great, press the palms together, create a little heat. And then here we go, we're gonna take the fingertips back, elbows towards the sky, and lift the elbows up. So the arms might be able to create a little bit of leverage for the head, but you're using your core to support the back. One more big breath in here, you got this. Lift the elbows even more. And then exhale, release everything. Fingertips come down gently at your side. Awesome work. Okay, so here, we're gonna bring the palms back and release. If you're in a chair, and then I'll give you a variation, but if you're on the floor, here's the first variation. So actually, I'll give the chair first. Chair, if you're in a variation, you're just gonna cross one leg over the other, and then do the same thing that we do on the floor with the neck. So just crossing legs. If you're on the floor, you're gonna go windshield wiper legs. So bring the feet out wide. Again, hands come behind you. Notice if you've already started to collapse here. See if you can maintain that integrity of that length up through the crown. Cool, then take a second to just wake up your feet, dig your heels into the earth, it's all connected. You know, I am really honored to get to make these yoga videos, but you know, it's all just yoga. Yoga for this, yoga for that. So even though yoga for neck and shoulder release, it's like, right, it's connected to the soles of our feet. It's all connected, one moving part. All right, that's my spiel. Let's do the dang thing. Bring the knees slowly, so keep the heart lifted over to the left. And then pause, just notice the sensations of the body there, and then see if you can find more length through the crown here. So that might mean making an adjustment with your hands. It might mean firming the shoulder blades again, lifting the heart. Hi kids, editing redhead here and I just wanted to tell you that at this point of the video in yoga with Adrian, she has her cute little puppy named Benji right next to her and um, he just did this cute like stretch and um, I just thought it was really cute to have my little Sophie right next to me. So it's kind of like Benji and Sophie are each other's uh, spirit animals. <laughs> anyway, back to the video. Hey buddy, my assistant. Yeah. He's good at pranayama. He's good at yoga, all branches. Okay, inhale, lift the chest. So once you find that integrity, then you're gonna keep this length up through the crown. Again, imagine that string pulling you up. Very important, very important. And then keep that length and then look away. Opposite direction. And then breathe a little deeper. Maybe soften your eyes or your gaze. Make sure you're not clenching or holding in the toes or the fingers. And we breathe here. So really reap the benefits of this time, this therapy by breathing deep in and out. And then ground down through the shoulder blades again, firm them up and find length in that left side of the neck. Careful not to completely collapse the right side. Great, one more breath, inhale. And then find the courage to look back to center. Okay, great, rolling through to the other side. We're gonna take a little break off the hands here if you need by coming to thriller arms or rotating the wrists. And then when you're ready, you know what to do here. Take it to the other side. Again, if you're on a chair, you're crossing the ankles kind of like we would, or crossing the legs kind of like we would at a desk and looking away. Both of these shapes are pretty awesome if you ask me. So in your own time, travel there, listen to your body. Inhale, lift the chest. Imagine that string and when you're ready, demure, look away. Oh yeah, this side's good. Great, take two more deep breaths. And 
And then slowly be brave, come back to center, face your fears. Okay, come up off the wrists. If you're in a chair, bring the feet flat to the ground. If you are on the ground, let's go one foot in front of the other, doesn't matter which one. Again, if you need to come off the wrists or work, work out the wrist, listen to your body, take good care. And then when you're ready, we're gonna interlace the fingertips, open palms, open thumbs, and bring them up and over and behind to just the back of the head. Thumbs come to the neck here. And then inhale, lift the chest, lift the elbows, look up. Open the elbows as wide as you can. See if you can open them even wider, even wider, even wider, be mindful. And then exhale, slow as you can go. Chin to chest, rounding the spine, and then you're not pressing with your hands at all, just kind of letting gravity do the work. And the elbows will come in towards your forehead or your third eye, and you are in control. And I can see a little toothpaste on my shirt. Real class act, real classy. Okay, we're here for a good amount of breaths, inviting a release, a surrender. And also taking a moment to just kind of explore or maybe refine. If that speaks to you, pulling the shoulders a little bit back softly, relaxing the jaw, the forehead. Close your eyes, breathe. Awesome work. From your core, think Uddiyana Bandha, navel locked, draw the navel in and up, and let that be your cue to slowly roll up. We're going to come all the way up, crown of the head, lifts up towards the sky, elbows go super wide one more time. Inhale in, and then exhale, big stretch. Have fun with this. Ooh, maybe you yawn, turn your head one way, and maybe the other. Make it your own here, a little stretch. Mm. Awesome. Then you're gonna cross one arm over, doesn't matter which one. Take it into this little stretch here. Plug the shoulders down and lift your chest. Imagine your marionette stream. And then switch. Wonderful hands come together, Anjali Mudra at the heart. Sit up nice and tall. A humble tucking of the chin, just a little tuck. Close your eyes if you like and listen to the sound of your breath. Acknowledging that the mind and the body are connected. Amazing. Repeat this sequence when you feel like you need to release. A friend of mine friend and mentor always is talking to me about how often neck pain is um, not seeing both sides or not seeing more than one side to something. So that might be something to look into or consider. And often when we are kind of amping up for summer and workouts, we're doing a lot more ab work and just a lot more activity fitness wise. And that can sometimes manifest in the neck and the shoulders. So repeat the sequence to find length and release. Let it be a physical release, but also you can take this opportunity to choose to let go of anything that's not serving you. Just release it with every exhale. Here we go, deep breath in. Lift the thumbs to the third eye. And one last release, we exhale, bowing head to heart. I swear, Benji just sighed right when I did that. It's amazing. I hope the, I hope the mics pick that up. All right, namaste, my dear friends. Let us know how it goes down below. Questions, comments, always available. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Invite your friends, your foes, your family to do the same. And I'll see you next time. All right, y'all, so that was actually an amazing um, practice. Not that I had any doubt that it would be.
Uh, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel afterwards because I thought that there would be a lot more physical working of the shoulders and whatnot. Um, and so I was like, oh, maybe I'm going to have to do another one. And it felt um, way better than I expected to once I was done. So I highly recommend that video. The link is going to be in the description down below. I hope you guys like my little captions and, you know, little... Uh, Little Sophie Mori helped me out the whole time. Um, also, did you just see what I see over? Oh, I guess you can't really actually see it. That's a white claw. Cause it's my day off. So I not. <laughs> Um, anyway, thanks again for watching. If you guys have any questions, if you guys have any um, input, suggestions, if you just want to say hi, feel free to comment below. You can message me. We can, we can hang out. We can be besties. Let's go do yoga together. All right. I love you guys. Mwah. Bye.